everyone. Today we will learn viruses transmitted through respiratory route. I'm Gang Xing from Department of Microbiology and Immunology, Shantou University Medical College, China. The diseases associated include first one, coronavirus disease 19, COVID-19. I think everyone knows it. The virus SARS-CoV-2 induced pandemic this year. And the second one is more famous, influenza. And measles, mumps, and rubella are all viral diseases transmitted by respiratory route. Actually, 90 to 95 percent of acute infection of respiratory tract are caused by viruses. There are many viruses associated. The first one is orthomyxoviridae. You should still remember that viridae refers to a family name of the virus. Influenza virus belongs to orthomyxoviridae. Otho means straight. Mytho means mucus. That means the virus can invade humans through mucus membrane. Another group is paromyctoviridae. Compared with orthomyctoviridae, the paromyctoviruses have many different characteristics. But both can infect humans by mucus membrane. Parainfluenza, measles, mumps, and the respiratory syncytial virus belong to paromyctoviridae. Third one is coronaviridae. SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2 are in this family. And there are many other viruses can cause respiratory infection. They are rubella virus, sometimes we call it German measles, rhinovirus, rhino means nose, human herpes virus, and adenovirus and a rail virus. Please note, just the adenovirus is a DNA virus. All other viruses in this table are RNA viruses. How do we get to know all about them? As what we have mentioned last time, when we learn about viruses, we need to know the biological properties of the virus, pathogenicity and immunity of the virus, lab diagnosis and prevention and treatment of the disease. And more importantly, we need to apply the basic knowledge to analyze the clinical case. Each time, we will discuss about a virus based on a clinical case. Please answer what is a disease? Why did the person be infected? And how do we treat patient and protect others? To answer the first question, we need to know the clinical clue, the history, the symptoms and the signs, then make a preliminary diagnosis. And then we need a lab test to confirm our diagnosis. To answer the second question, you need to know the source of the infection, transmission route, pathogenicity of the diseases. And the last question, we should discuss about the treatment with antimicrobial drugs and a supportive treatment and the methods of prevention of the infection. Now, let's use influenza virus as an example to see how to learn about the viruses. This slide shows you the learning objectives of this chapter. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to describe the structure of influenza A virus. 
and analyze the target points of anti-flu drugs. Explain how to type and subtype the influenza viruses. Differentiate antigenic drift and shift. List symptoms and signs of influenza illness. Compare the differences between orthomyctoviruses and paramyctoviruses. List the important paramyctoviruses and coronaviruses and their associated diseases. Let's start from a case. Here is a girl who is a 19-year-old student. She got fever suddenly. It's a high fever, 40 Celsius. And she got a severe headache and a muscle ache, and a little bit of a runny nose and a sore throat. So what do you think? It's a cold or flu? The symptoms of a cold and a flu are a little bit different. For example, the fever. Flu patient almost always get high fever, greater than 38 Celsius. But cold, usually mild, rare, less than 38 Celsius. Headache, flu, very common. Cold, rare. General aches and pain. Flu usually often severe and cold slight. And for the onset, flu rapid onset, cold granule over a few days. And a stuffed nose, runny nose, and a sore throat. For cold, very common, but flu from rare to common. The last one, cough. Flu can be very severe and it could be dry cough, and cold, mild to moderate. So just based on the symptoms, what is the preliminary diagnosis of the girl? Influenza, sudden onset of high fever, aching muscles, headache, and a severe malaise, non-productive cough, sore throat, and rhinitis. Patients with underlying cardiorespiratory disease, people with immune deficiency, and elderly and smokers are more prone to have a severe case. Influenza could be a very serious disease. Here I show you the known flu pandemics. Pandemic means worldwide outbreak. The first pandemic in 1918, 20 to 40 million people died because of this disease. And the subtype is H1N1. 40 years later, 1 to 1 point million people died because of the disease. Subtype H2N2. And 10 years later, 1 million deaths, H3N2. And 40 years later, in 2009, H1N1. We can see every 10 to 40 years, there will be a new pandemic. The question is, will a killer pandemic like the 1918 flu come again? What do you think? And we will discuss this question during this lecture. If in flu season, just based on the symptoms, high fever suddenly, headache and muscle pain, and a little bit of the runny nose and a sore throat. The preliminary diagnosis could be flu. But how can we confirm the diagnosis? To answer all these questions, we need to learn about the virus. Influenza virus belongs to Orthomyctoviridae. We just mentioned this. Ortho means right, straight, and myxo means mucus. It is a negative single-stranded RNA virus. 
the morphology of influenza virus. Sphere and the diameter is 80 to 120 nanometer. And it is an enveloped virus. In the middle is a nucleo capsid. And it is surrounded by the envelope. Let's look at the nucleo capsid. It is a negative single stranded RNA containing eight or seven segments. Type A and B, eight segments. C, seven segments. Let's see one segment in detail. The core is an RNA, and at one side are the polymerases, PB2, PB1, and the PA. They are transcriptase complex. And the gene is surrounded by NP, nucleocapsid, which is helicosymmetry. So the capsid helicosymmetry contains PB2, PB1, PA, and NP. Sometimes we use RNP, ribonucleoprotein, to refer to the nucleocapsid. Just beneath envelope, there is a matrix protein. We call it M1. Based on NP and M1 proteins, the flu virus can be divided into three types, A, B, and C. Influenza A viruses can infect a variety of different host species, aquatic birds, chickens, ducks, pigs, horses, and seals. Influenza B infects only human beings. Influenza C infects humans and swine. Type A, B, and C can cause seasonal epidemic. Type A, worldwide pandemic, sometimes B2. Let's go back to the diagram. Another protein is M2. It is an ion channel and is essential for the replication of flu virus. We have one group of drugs to block M2 and to treat patients with flu. The drug is amantadine. Another one is remantadine. We use M2 ion channel blockers to treat the patients. But after 2009, the last pandemic of flu, the drug resistance strains became to be a big problem. We need new drugs. We will cover the new drugs in next session. Now, have a break. We will continue to learn about the spikes of influenza virus and the new drugs. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.